JK Zyder and Fizz versus Dobrain and QS. And I'm very, very happy to see Dobrain back to form. I mean, it's it's been a while where he's kind of like, you know, trying to scratch his way into top eights, you know, re retain that glory. And I got to tell you, he's been having amazing teamwork with QS. I'm very happy to see that. It's going to be very interesting matchup going against kind of this new school of player, JK Zyder and Fizz. Right. Uh, and an interesting matchup. And I like that you mentioned the new school thing because with with all the players that I was talking about with the legend differences, I feel like QS is the only one that's really stuck to his guns with the Hattori. Yeah. Hattori was incredibly popular among a lot of, of EU and North American players going into 2v2s and he's still holding on to it. But we have, before that matchup, Cake and Addy Mystic versus Viper and Agzo. The storied matchup, the, we, we've seen it time and time in grand, again in Grand Finals, both in LANs and EU online tournaments alike. And it's going to be happening in loser's quarters. That means one of them is going to be out at fifth place. That's wild. That is absolutely wild. I mean, we, we can see Cake um, and Andy Mastic, they're They've already got the Fate pick locked in. They've got the Thor pick locked in. I, I What do you think of this new construction? I like it. And I, I was talking about how Orb, it, it's like almost like an acceptance. It's like, okay... What we've been doing hasn't been working because we talk about how amazing Cake and Addy have been, but the, yep. their placements throughout 2019 haven't been the most fantastic. But when Ooh. they're taking these adjustments going to Twilight Grove with the orb, they've been using down air specifically and side air as moves to almost create zones of of, of play that you, your opponents can't go into, right? If they're putting out down air to down air and they're stacking on top of each other, they're not going to be hitting each other and they're going to stop those stop their opponents from being able to get in and yeah. be able to fight. I got to tell you, Cake out. has been doing exactly that with his orb. I mean, catching so much, but oh no, getting caught in the middle of the sandwich between Viper and Axel, and they did the hot swap rotation over to Adimestic. I mean, you've got that checkerboard, da checkerboard damage pattern going on. Axel and Adimestic both incredibly damaged, ready to be knocked out. Any Cake, Ooh. Avoiding that neutral light. Addy Mystic falling with that orb. And we're seeing the falling side air not quite working out for Addy and getting punched on the side stick coming out from Cake. Now, the second one oh, actually connects and KOs. Just hits that big star slide signature. And Thor being so beefy with the right stance, you could have eight defense on this legend. Oh, yeah. I mean, doesn't, it doesn't matter if when you're that damaged and just get sliced by an axe. Ooh, the jumping star from Axel, even on the island, doesn't KO Cake. And Cake. Oh no! Threatened too far off the corner, trying to avoid Viper's axe, and now Adam has to caught in a little bit of a power play, just kind of bouncing back and forth. Viper, the only one to still retain his first stock, and Nutri just like really quickly finishes finishes that off. I mean, quick as lightning, and Kate going again for another star slide, and this time bouncing him off the wall. I love that choice. Cake with the down stick, using the active input to him into the stage, and then finding the down air, bouncing the down air off the stage into his opponent to be able to find the, that finisher off of Agzo. Agzo now down a stock, and Cake with the amazing gosh. orb string on the left side of the map. Viper ta tackling Addy Mystic, and Addy Mystic is on the side, will go for the ground pound down air. Down air just barely misses Viper, but Cake was able to take advantage of being on the land in the super speedy neutral sig, rising with the orb to send him off the top of the map. Cake brings Viper down to his last stock, four to two in game number one. And the orb duo looks like they're doing quite well. Those, those neutral orbs. I gotta tell you, like, I just hear this hurricane of orb sounds, and then one of the red team just goes flying out from it. And it's about to happen with Axel, although Cake got hit. Man, she the the map, but Axel was taken off the top, and Addy Messing and Cake are now just going to be using the orb. To great effect as, oh, you saw the team combo off the Twilight Grove. Cake being so incredibly clever. Ooh, crisscrossing Chris signatures. each other. I mean, look at this coverage. It is absolutely phenomenal. Viper managing to take down a stock, but I mean, it's still three to one, and Viper is so incredibly damaged. Cake. We're switching over to the side, which feels like this is the very first oh, time, oh, and oh. using probably the the least used fate signature, the down signature, allowing fate to teleport forward. Has a little area of effect yep. connection. And really I mean, feeling those I, you, even though that didn't hit, it kind of forced Viper out wide, and Amnestic was just there with the dive yeah. kick. That secured them game one. I, I don't know. That was such a dominant performance. What do you think Viper and Agzo have to do? To, to try and bring this set back. We saw Viper play Bodvar a little bit earlier, and Agzo clearly had a Thor that worked very well in ones. I'm wondering if he'll switch over to the Thor in, in preparation for this, so if they'll just stick Ooh. to the same legends. And it looks like they do stick on to Bodvar and, and Ragnar, but it would have would not have surprised me if he matched Adi Mystic's Thor with his own. But the map 
really seemed to work out in the favor of Cake and Addy. There were so Absolutely. many times where Cake had both Agzo and Viper on the left side of the map, and we're catching them with those down sigs and then bouncing them into the stage so that they can continue. I like with that more because down that air. signature, you do get to choose whether you want to send them up or right. send them forward. And sending them forward, bouncing them off the stage, I like that rather going than back. giving them safety. Three, oh my two, god, are you serious? One. I really would have expected a map change here because the orbs had so many wall bounce combos. I mean, Addy, Messing, and Cake both getting these big strings leading up into the sky. Well, let's see if Viper and Agzo have a new plan of mind to be able to fight against Addy and Cake. Cake fighting Agzo on the left side of the map, and Viper's boxing Addy Mystic away. Addy starting with the hammer instead of the orb this time, and getting hit by a few stairs too many. The sides are connecting into Cake and Ooh. bouncing him off the Twilight Grove Island. Neutral light into Cake's side air. All right, Excellent so these team combos coming out. Focusing on the larger weapons. Oh my gosh, Agzo with the side signature just enough to score the first KO. And now they're giving the coverage on to Addy Messick, but Agzo, and toss. that's going to do it. It was perfectly placed right before Agzo grabbed the, the stage. But Viper, seeing how Addy Messick expended everything they needed to do to recover, was able to get the recovery, kill him off the top, uh, Axe recovery. Ooh. Ooh. So many ground pounds coming out from Viper. I mean, even unarmed, that ground pound does a ton of damage. It's absolutely optimal to go for it. You could have gotten for downlight and recovery, but ground pound is what you want to do if you're not intending to KO your opponent when they're so damaged you can't even fight. Hold them. The oh. scramble. All four legends stacked on top of each other, trying their best to do as much damage, and Addy Mestic ends up being the one falling to And then just his trade death it for Viper's stock. I mean, it's just firing back and forth. Viper and Axel have been able to maintain a little bit of a tenuous lead here, though. Four stocks to three, but Axel won't be long for this world, especially if Adam has to keep fighting. It doesn't even matter. Cake just swoops in to clean it up. Addy and Cake have an opportunity to start something on a Viper, but they don't find that beginner to the team combo. Neutral Light is a very good starter. The down air bouncing it off the ground, if you delay it long enough, Orb down air has so many nuances to how you can use it to punish your opponent's oh, yeah. positioning. All these different ranges that you get, different bounces off of the ground. A little bit of the scramble in the center again. I gotta tell you, a Viper with that axe just swinging around the recovery, it's this gigantic circular swing. And Addy He's Mestic. just looking to clear out everybody. Taking <gasps> so much damage, Sightsick finishes it. Viper tosses the axe to the left of the stage, trying to connect with Cake. Delay like, doesn't find that down air, but the recovery comes out from Viper, and that's Cake's second stock gone. Yeah, now, now Cake has a 1v2 to deal with. If you find Agzo, there is by all means Cake. Cake this was like Cake's identity. Oh, oh, both of them in the side air. That was absolutely crucial because that made him in a position where he wouldn't even get punished for throwing out uh, some kind of attempt to clean up these stocks. Oh my gosh. Really putting on the heat with the guitars. Nice little neutral like hitting with the claws. Sends There's the stock one. flying. Can he find Agzo down here? Does not quite connect. Jumping Sarah. It's not going to find either. Agzo just running for his life in an excellent dodge. Transfer the dodge into that gravity cancel down light. Cake just beating up on Viper now with the recovery. I mean, that's what you have to do. It's got to be that quick oh, and so rapid armed. target switch. You do not want to get caught out because anything that might have been... Oh my gosh. Comes out. So close off Dallin the top recovery of the and just walks past him casually as a oh, method of How did he survive? Down. I mean, I know it was an unarmed neutral light, but that is so close to that side KO line. Cake gets his jumps back. Tosses the scythe away. He's doing such a great job maneuvering in this 1v2. And, and at this point, Viper was two stocks up. Agzo nearly loses that stock to a side air, and Viper finds himself getting hit by the neutral light. Recovery does not connect, but Agzo ends up getting hit to the side again. So heavily damaged to the side six. Oh such a risky move. Oh, my gosh. I got to oh tell no. you. Wow, even with that friendly fire. Man, Cake has done such a phenomenal job extending this stock <gasps> and surviving. And six. there's another. It's dead even. Cake has brought this back. Falling Sarah from Viper missed, and Cake has just to find a few <gasps> more moves. That's going to put him into neutral sick kill percent. Viper jumping with that nair. So, so close to Sarah into the side of the wall. Viper manages to clutch what was, by all means, a one game. The damage difference between... Like, eh, look at Cake and Viper, and then look at Agzo and Addy Mystic. And I, I was like, Jeez. before the action really got started, I, I know that what I wanted to mention was Cake 
tends to have the one v two identity when it comes to Eddie and Cake, uh -huh. and Viper has the one v two identity because some sometimes not not very often in two v twos, one of your you, your teammates gonna end up losing all their stocks before you are. If of you're course, in a losing situation. That's why one v twos are so common. But we've seen more comebacks from Viper and Cake than anybody else in the European scene. Absolutely, and and that was a comeback in the making, stopped by of course the comeback maker himself, Viper. Man, I I did not think that. Uh, blue team would be able to bring it back as much as they did at the tail end there. It was a like three stocks to one situation. I I really thought that would be the swing of momentum in the set, the way of Viper and Agzo, but I, I give it even right now. They opt out of Twilight Grove and pick Mammoth Smart. Fortress. Viper and Agzo against Cake and Addy Mestic. No legend swaps the entire time. Game number three to decide who goes in the loser's semifinals to fight against the winner of J.K. Sider, Fizz, and versus Dobrin of QS. All right, so there's not a lot more platforms here like there were on Twilight Grove, so that center area isn't going to be as conducive to swinging the large weapons of the hammer and the axe that Viper got so much mileage off of early in the in that second game. Also damage hammer the weapon. Toss goes high, connects with Cake. Doesn't lead into too much else, and Addy Mystic finds a hammer the downer. Ooh. Doesn't reach as far as he wants, but Addy Kick shut scu the scuffle on the left side of the map. Working yeah. out. Oh, wow! That was an catches. early KO, and Addy going for that slightly wide hammer toss. Viper not biting. So many orb sounds swinging everywhere. Absolutely. Downer after downer from Cake, as he's just keeping Agzo. Agzo doesn't even really need to be interacting with Addy. He's relying on Addy Messick to do well against oh! Viper, and doing well is what he is exactly doing. Downer connects, spikes him perfectly underneath the map to his death, and trying to find even more. Uh oh, jumped off the side. Now they've got the momentary power play against Addy Messick. You know they're going to double stack this edge guard. Oh wow, Agzo rotating far over towards Cake. Down air, misses out. Agzo tosses his hammer to the side, goes for that spinning sword recovery. Oh no, Addy Mestic just falls. falling. I mean, he, it's not that bad. He was incredibly right. damaged, still his first stock. Um, and I don't know, I think sometimes you may even kind of work out better losing it there, just because every time that you get tagged, your teammate is left longer and longer in the 2v1, just because you get sent farther and farther. Now take Cake, he took so much damage, he's deep in the red, but so is Viper. Agzo not far behind, especially if he takes any more of those hammer swings. How did Cake just get sent off there? Cake's just been taking a huge beating in game number three now on his last stock. Being the one that was able to do the stock tanking in game two, fully charging. Is that fate signatures? Are, are, are fun in the sense that you can charge them a little long and it changes the property, and you can even do it off of a gravity cancel charge. Went for that blast and managed to find it. Mags on the Viper off the left side of the stage. Everybody manages to hold on their stock. Addy Mystic punished for that side stick, but doesn't lose the stock. Another side stick goes punished again. Agzo has Cake towards the top of the map. Cake wants to finish off either Agzo or Viper's stock before he takes too much more damage. Otherwise, he could put Addy Mystic in the same situation. He was There's in, but one. Addy Mystic There's with the double KO. That's... That's what I absolutely love in 2v2. What would easily have normally been an overextension can actually be turned into a bait if your teammate is there. And Viper just punishing perfectly with the Haymaker. And Cake bravely sidelighting twice in a row to keep Agzo and Viper away from Eddie Mystic as he responds. Normally, the teammate uh -oh. left alive. Oh no, the recovery comes the in. The save! Oh, oh no, but so, so many weapon he can. tosses, just barely. Cake's severely damaged after the offstage exchange. And he must go for the side like Sarah can't find it. Cake said flying, but the delayed Sarah's is not going to KO just yet. But Viper finding the recovery is still alive. And he messed it, keeping Viper away. Weapon spawn is in favor of the red team, and Viper cleverly denies it away from Cake. Cake staying unarmed, only having his feet and fists to fight with against Agzo. And Agzo. Wheeling the sword turns back on Addy Mystic, but Addy Mystic is playing, He's making up for game number two, keeping Agzo and Viper both occupied while Cake manages to find the scythe. Yeah, I mean, this has been dire straits for the blue team for quite some time here, and now Cake oh. getting sent down finally, but he did a decent job bringing Viper into the red. We saw Addy, Ma Addy Mystic almost make this comeback, and it was three stocks to one. Here, he's only got to cut through two. That down arm made him drop the orb. Addy Mestic is now unarmed, uh -oh. just like Cake was previously. Manages to dodge through and find the Nair, but Agzo finds a Sare on the way back down. Connecting oh with another Sare. And now Viper has the axe for the edge guard. 
so incredibly dangerous just guarding that corner and that's exactly it agzo he can hit his teammate as long as he takes out cake and that's taking out addy mystic and cake from the tournament eddie and cake are knocked out at fifth and viper and agzo doing incredibly well in game number three move forward to fight against the winner of the teams dobrain and qs versus jk Sider and fizz oh man that consistent showing viper on that ragnar that he's known for so well